tempted in the garden, based on Genesis chapter 3. God showed Adam and Eve the beauty and fruitfulness of the garden they lived in. He told them, You may eat from every tree except one, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If you eat from that tree, you will die. Look, Adam, the little bird comes when I call. God is good to us. He has given us everything. Everything except fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yes, that is forbidden. But Eve wonders, and one day she goes to the tree and gazes at the forbidden fruit. Satan, in the form of a serpent, tempts Eve. Are you sure God said not to eat this fruit? Oh, yes. If we even touch it, we'll die. Oh, you won't die if you touch and see. And if you eat it, you will be wise, just like God. You're right. And if this fruit will make me wise, surely there's no harm in taking just one bite. Adam, it tastes delicious. And it will make you wise. But the forbidden fruit has far different effects than the serpent promised. Suddenly, Adam and Eve realize they have disobeyed God. Their innocence is taken away as well. Cover yourself with these leaves. We must hide. In the stillness of the garden, God comes to Adam and Eve. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten the fruit that I told you not to eat? I only ate it because the woman you gave me handed it to me. The serpent tricked me. God makes clothes for Adam and Eve out of animal skins and sends them away. Look, a flaming sword blocks the entrance to the garden. We can never go back now. Where can we go? What can we do? God's promise of salvation. The perfect unity between God and his beloved creation is now broken for all time. Adam and Eve are forced to create a new life out of their knowledge and shame. But already, God has a plan to redeem his creation. God promises that one day he will send a savior for his people.